Alright guys, Bruiser here. Um and today I'm gonna be showing you how to do a uh automatic uh harvester for wheat. And as you can see I'm on my actual server. Uh my god, what the hell's pushing me? Alright, whatever. Oh uh, it's because I'm a werewolf. Um one of my plugins is the uh werewolf thing. Uh and I just turned it day so it's not recognizing it. Um but shit, my bad. Um as you can see, uh first of all I'll show you that this works. I'm gonna do that, and then it's gonna harvest all your stuff. And then you click the button after everything reaches you and then you replant. Now uh for this, you're going to need the following materials: a lever, button, or pressure plate. Uh, preferably a but uh pressure plate or a lever. Uh, buttons don't let the water always uh let everything come all the way to you. Uh, next thing you're going to need is something to support it. This can be wood, cobblestone, dirt, anything, any kind of block that you can place. You can put next to it, and uh, just to keep the water from flowing out of everywhere. You're going to need uh, a piston and a bucket of water. In my case, I have a block of water since I have my own server and spawning in. Uh, redstone, a hoe, seeds, uh, a redstone torch, and you do not need bone mill, but I'm doing it just so it's quicker uh, to grow. Um, now, you're also going to need dirt unless you're building on top of the dirt. Uh, reason I'm not doing under it is because that means that if you have uh, let's say you go one down there's the water there's the piston uh, most of it's going to get smashed um, so instead what I'm doing is you want to put the basis of the water which is that and then you're going to have a uh, piston either direction um, and then you're gonna do one there and then you're gonna put one block here put the rest on torch on that and that's uh, a reverse or whatever for the piston alright after that you're gonna go down I think let's see one two three four five six oops not that far um you shouldn't have to go as far as I went uh, and I'm just going to leave it just in case. Next, you're going to put the bucket of water uh, in your case, or if you have your own server and can spawn stuff, uh, a lava block. Next thing, you're going to come over here and you're going to connect a lever, pressure plate, button, blah blah blah. Uh, if you press a pressure plate, just do it right here. That way you can stand on it, and then once all the wheat comes, you can, uh, it'll work. Now, I'm going to put my button, or not my button, my lever there. Um, next, hoe the ground. Um, and I'm actually going to walk on it when I'm planting. Uh, I have World Guard on, and I have it so that players cannot trample the ground. Uh, like, if you want to watch, it'll just come back. Alright, now, next thing you want to do is wait for your plants to fully grow. Uh, or simpler method is bone mill um so after you do that you want to get out of there and bam wait for it all to come down you can collect it uh and if some of your crops are still popping out a uh, simple thing to do is just go one block higher uh now I'm saying this because I have had it happen to me before and I uh, understand uh, even though it did not happen that time it can still happen uh, so that's going to be it uh, you can also make it go down and then just keep having it go down over and over and over and uh, all you're going to need to do is make sure that it won't flow like that but uh, in this case it doesn't matter and I'm going to go ahead and start clearing, clearing this stuff up 
Uh, thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Uh, I'm also going to be doing a automatic cactus farm in a minute. Uh, if you'd like to see that, just look at my next video. Uh, and thanks. Bye.